Okay, in my cutter, uh, I'm now going to explain how to make um, the shide, uh, or symbol of Shinto. Uh, take a piece of paper, fold it in half, uh, like that. And it can be a much larger piece of paper. Uh, and then cut strips, uh, cut it into strips like this uh, from each side, uh, like that. And um, uh, you don't. You, uh, I don't know if there's a proper order to doing this. And once you've cut it all like that, and then you fold it, and you fold it in a kind of spiral, um, so that uh, the um, it forms this kind of zigzag. Uh, which looks a bit like lightning. Uh, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Uh, there is one scholar that says, thinks it may represent lightning, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't. And this is something that was normally an offering to uh, uh, the Shinto deities, or um, it's used to uh, demark sacred areas, and it's still the most common offering when people go to sh shrines and have a formal ritual. They'll uh, give one of these strips of paper uh, to the god, and it's also used to purify people when waved around like that. But why? W what is it? Well, bearing in mind the importance of strips of paper printed with the god's name in Shinto shrines, i.e. Ofuda or Omamori, I believe that these things were given to the gods because that's what, sh sh that's what shrines wanted more than anything else. They wanted pieces of strips of paper because strips of paper is what, out, what they give out to people. And this is the most important bit now. Um, make sure that this is in the centre. Okay, now if I wanted, if I was a god or a, a shrine priest, then I'd want strips of paper like this because... It's very easy to make um, strips of paper like that to uh, put the sacred seal of the shrine onto them and hand them out to people as uh, the Fuda or, or memory of the shrine. And hence uh, this shape, it's, um, you know, it's built to be uh, stripped uh, into uh, strips of paper. Okay.